Quincy Hall made a dramatic entrance into Olympic history with a breathtaking performance in the 400 meters on Wednesday night, claiming gold with a sensational late surge. Hall, trailing in fourth place as runners approached the final turn, surged past his competitors to finish first with a time of 43.40 seconds, securing the fourth fastest mark ever in the event. In a stunning display of resilience, Hall edged out Britain's Matthew Hudson Smith by just 0.04 seconds with Hudson Smith clocking the fifth fastest time in history. Zambia's Muzala Samukanka took home the bronze. This victory marks the first American gold in the 400 meters since LaShawn Merritt's win in 2008. Hall's triumph followed another impressive American performance earlier in the games, as Cole Hawker clinched victory in the men's 1,500 meters after coming from behind, and Noah Lyles won the 100 meters with a dramatic finish. Hall also competed in the 200 meters semifinal and will advance to the final on Thursday. The 26-year-old Hall, known for his love of dogs and horses, looked unlikely to finish in the top three but made a remarkable comeback. Despite being five meters behind as the runners entered the final stretch, Hall's determination saw him overtake his rivals and finish first. His victory also added to a series of strong performances by American athletes. In other track and field news, Morocco's Sufian El Bakali successfully defended his gold medal in the men's 3,000-meter steeplechase, clocking eight minutes. 6.05 seconds. This win makes him the first back-to-back -back champion in the event since Finland's Volmari Iso Hollow in the 1930s. American Kenneth Rooks, who ran a personal best of 8 minutes 6 seconds and 41 milliseconds, took silver, and Kenya's Abraham Kibiwat won bronze. Ethiopian Lameka Gurma, the world record holder, suffered a late fall and was stretchered off the track. In the discus event, Jamaica's Roje Stona achieved an Olympic record throw of 70 meters, defeating Lithuania's Mikolas Alagna, who had to settle for silver despite his throw of 69.97 meters, which surpassed his father's mark. Australia's Matthew Denny secured bronze. Australia's Nina Kennedy claimed gold in the women's pole vault with a height of 4.90 meters, besting American Katie Moon, who earned silver by clearing 4.85 meters. Canada's Alicia Newman also cleared 4.85 meters but received the bronze due to more missed attempts. The track and field events continue to deliver thrilling performances, with athletes pushing the limits and setting new records on the world's biggest stage. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.